Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Austin Peterson here, former presidential candidate for the Libertarian Party. Sorry about all the audio problems that we've been having lately in these live streams. As we've sought to upgrade our system, we've experienced uh, oh, all the delays, the birth pangs of a new studio setup. So really, thank you for your patience on some of these hiccups, and hopefully we'll get them all sorted out for you very soon. Uh, but I didn't want to not talk about this today. I didn't want to get not get this off my chest, because as you know from me, I'm a talker. When I get fired up on a subject, you know, I feel like I need to speak my mind. And the question is, coming down the pike, is, you know, what's going on with the beef between Alex Jones, Infowars, and Gary Johnson? Because, and here's the thing, you know, I haven't seen Alex Jones specifically say any of this stuff yet. And most of this is coming from this other reporter by the name of Paul Joseph Watson, who, if he had a page, I would have tagged him in this because it was his criticism that's been kind of shum, that's been pushed in my face and said, hey, you know, this, you need to answer to this, you know, answer to this, guys. What do you think about Alex Jones' Infowars going after Gary Johnson? And, you know, it's not about Gary Johnson. I'll just go ahead and give, tell you the secret right away. This isn't about Gary Johnson. This is about Donald Trump. You know it, and I know it. Right. Because Gary Johnson is not like Donald Trump. Right. Get, Donald Trump is the candidate of the conspiracy theorists. Right. If you don't know Alex Jones. Well, wow. Where have you been living? If you must be new with the liberty movement and that's OK. Um, and I wish that I didn't have to inform you about this. But he's the guy who goes and says 9-11 is an inside job. And, you know, every conspiracy theory under the sun is is true and real. And JFK, magic bullet theory, you know, BS, BS, BS. You know, the Russians are going to invade. And he and I, Alex Jones and I, have actually had beef before. Because if some of you don't know, I kind of have this funny nickname called Leif Bieberson. Uh, some of my new followers don't know. But what's uh, but uh, he actually attacked me, calling me a globalist scum. All right. And that I'm a tool of the New World Order. And I'm sure he still thinks that. Right. But we're going to get into the nitty gritty here of this little beef that we got going on. Because... It's important that we are objective here, right? Like you can support a candidate. People rag on me all the time because I'm criti I criticize Gary. Well, that's you know why? That's because I'm objective. That's what you won't see from Infowars and Paul Joseph Watson and and Alex Jones of those guys, right? They're not going to give you a an un a real unvarnished view of things. You know why? Because Donald Trump is the perfect candidate for conspiracy theorists, okay? It doesn't matter if he doesn't believe in your particular conspiracy theory. Why? Because conspiracy theories, they tend to thrive uh, on fear, right? On a fear. And that, that's what Donald Trump is playing on, right? The fear. He's stoking up fear and rage and hatred and anger. I mean, if you ever watch any of Alex Jones's show, it's all terror, it's all the terror that's being inflicted on us, and it's and, and you know, and it's not just the government that's the problem from these guys. You know, it's like fluoride in our drinking water. You know, everything is a conspiracy. But when it comes to Gary Johnson versus Donald Trump, they identify the conspiracy theorists identify more with Donald Trump. Here's why: the Alex Jones types, if you don't know, they used to support Ron Paul. And Ron Paul is as anti-establishment as you can come. I, I supported Ron Paul, too. I supported Ron Paul in 2008 and 2012. But I also supported Gary Johnson. And Gary Johnson is different from Ron Paul. But just how different depends on your full understanding of the libertarian philosophy liberty as an ethos and the movement broads it. this is very very inter inter kind of stuff so i mean again if you're not interested in like you know petty squabbles in the liberty movement tune out right now this isn't your show okay we're going to be talking about some very obscure figures you know this is not your regular newscast okay this is a no holds barred truth session that's going to go on for as long as i want it to because this is my damn facebook page <laughs> And as long as Mark Zuckerberg allows me to speak, <laughs> I'm just kidding, Zuck. Don't don't uh, ban me, man. I know that they're going after the libertarians and conservatives these days. But I want to talk to you about the difference between Ron Paul, Gary Johnson, and Donald Trump. Because if you notice, Ron Paul hasn't endorsed Donald Trump. 
right? Why hasn't Ron Paul endorsed Donald Trump? Well, he hasn't endorsed Gary Johnson either, the critics will say. Yeah, that's true. Because Ron Paul is a different kind of libertarian than Gary Johnson. Now, there's always been this sort of um, struggle. It, it's mirrored. The United States has north and south, right? Blue and red. And, and, and there's a binary battle going on, and, and not only on the macro level of the United States, but on the micro level of the United States, with all these factions that are kind of squabbling, you know, shuffling around for power. The conspiracy theorists, the Alex Jones types, is like, they've got a path to power now through Donald Trump. Okay, but, but Ron Paul was the type of person, he never cared about power, right? He wasn't trying to gain power. He wasn't running for president of the United States to gain power, right? He was doing it because he wanted to further a message and because he cared about ideas. Now, where those ideas intersect with someone like Alex Jones is different with how they intersect with Gary Johnson because Ron Paul and Gary Johnson have a lot in common, not, not everything. But Ron Paul represents the more Southern constitutionalist, whereas Gary represents the more blue side of things, the more cosmopolitan intellectuals, of which libertarians as a whole, our liberty movement, is also shown in the battle between Cato and Mises. Okay? If you don't know the difference between Cato and Mises, again, I don't have time to explain to you guys. If you're a listener right now and you're upset because you have no idea who the hell it is that I'm talking about, this is not your show. Okay? I'm talking about really obscure stuff. So when it comes to the battle between cosmopolitan libertarians and more agrarian libertarians, I mean, think about the struggle, the American Revolution. It was the Federalists versus the Anti-Federalists, you know, the struggle of the sort of agrarian interests of the United States, which is the more rural or ur uh, less urban. These people identify with Alex Jones on a tribal level. Yeah, tribalism occurs within the liberty movement, FYI. That's why... I get kind of run out on a rail because I'm a heretic from everybody. Like, ANCAPs hate me. Minarchists are kind of like, uh, we prefer Gary Johnson. <laughs> uh, you know, and uh, I'm too radical for them. So I, I feel like I just don't belong anywhere. Uh, but um, we, have tribal, we have tribes in this movement. And, and Alex Jones represents his own tribe. Okay? Gary Johnson represents a tribe, the cosmopolitan elite intellectuals, uh, the D.C. Beltway types. Right, the type that would be associated with Cato. I mean, Cato, those guys, they, they went hardcore for Gary. You know, the the establishment. Well, you could call them the establishment liberty movement. Then there's the anti-establishment liberty movement that kind of exists centered around uh, Auburn and Mises, and you know, Reason as Reason magazine. I would say would be part of the more cosmopolitan libertarian uh, branch of thought. You know, Tom Woods represents the more paleo-libertarian form, the more agrarian, right, to Auburn, Mises, you know, uh, Lou Rockwell, those guys down there in, in Auburn. But with Alex Jones, Alex Jones is his own entity, right? He's got his own production facility. You know, he's built it up, you know, like an entrepreneur. You know, congratulations to him on that. He's got a good business sense. But what's happened here is that where you had people like Ron Paul and Gary Johnson – the, those people in 2012, we all merged, right? We had this moment where we were all kind of together behind Ron Paul. And then when Ron Paul dropped out, we all got behind Gary Johnson. Well, that doesn't exist now. Now, why? Is it because of the, the types of arguments that uh, Gary Johnson is making that don't sit well with Alex Jones supporters? Sure. Right? They don't like his carbon tax, right? So what is Paul Joseph Watson attacking him in InfoWars? They're attacking him over his carbon tax, his anti-libertarian positions. Absolutely. Does Trump have some positions, some positions that are actually more libertarian than Gary Johnson? Yeah, probably. This is real talk here, folks. Listen, you're not going to get this anywhere else. If you follow these issues, if you follow politics, you're not going to get anybody who is as well connected, who is experienced. You're not going to get this viewpoint that you're listening to right now anywhere else. OK, because I know these figures. All right. And, and, uh, and you're going to get the truth from me because I want to be objective. And let me just tell you something. I suffer every single day for it, okay? Free speech is not without consequence. So what I'm saying right now, attacking a sacred cow of the liberty movement, Alex Jones, because I'm about to go off in a minute. This stuff is dangerous, okay? Free speech is dangerous, but you know what? I don't give a damn. Because, like, for all the people that come at me and say, Austin, oh, well, you better worry about any future candidacies, blah, blah, blah. You don't understand the point. I am a truth teller. I am here to find the objective analysis, the empirical truth, and give it to you as it really lies. Not to speculate, not to predict, because I cannot predict anything, because there is no magical power. There are no tarot cards, no psychics, no magicians. That's not what I'm all about. I'm all about science and skepticism and reason and logic and rationale. But the attack by 
Alex Jones's Infowars, the Paul Joseph Watson types. That is, this is they're not making an intellectual argument. It's just, it's the veneer of an intellectual argument against Gary Johnson because they're not intellectuals over there. Okay. Yeah, you say, oh, they've got quality reporting every once in a while. They reported on, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. There's some, some story that they blow out. Yeah, you know what? Blind squirrels will sometimes find nuts. Did you know that? And did you also know that broken clocks are right twice a day? Okay. So let's talk about Alex Jones for just a minute here. Okay. So he's built up an empire of... Lies, would you say? Truth is treason in the empire of lies, a great man once said. And, you know, they, they've been coming after me for years. You know why? The Jones types? Because I debunk their BS conspiracy theories. You could spend, you could create a whole new news institution just to debunk all the myths, lies, and conspiracy BS that comes out of that institution over there. All right, these, these aren't people who are like intellectuals of the Mises tradition that are going to sit down and give you a lecture on Hayek. These are the kind of people that are just as apt to wave a Russian flag of patriot, national patriotism as they are American. And let me just tell you something. Alex Jones has spent the better part of a decade terrifying us, terrifying us in this country. And now comes along his champion, his savior, Lord Trump, because Trump thrives on fear. Again, this isn't hatred so much of Gary Johnson, because you know what? This is actually kind of weird. I bet you Alex Jones might actually be supporting Gary Johnson if... Trump wasn't here. I mean, Jesse Ventura was on Alex Jones' show the other day. He said he was going to support him. Jesse Ventura is going to support him. So, so I'm sure Alex Jones was really upset about that. But why Trump? Why does Alex Jones and the conspiracy theorists, why do they like Trump? Because just like Alex Jones has built his empire of lies, Trump is building his campaign. They thrive on the fear and, and the hatred, and, and they gin it up, right? It doesn't mean that I can't agree with Alex Jones on certain things, like the Bundy Ranch or something like that, for example. Sure, yeah, we can, be, we can agree that the federal government, the BLM, should stay the hell out, and I agree with localism. And, and don't mistake me for some cosmopolitan liberal libertarian. Uh, you know, this isn't just me sticking up for Gary Johnson because I'm some effete intellectual. <laughs> I'm not. You know, guy, Judge, Judge Napolitano actually... Uh, he was my old boss there for a couple of years. He um, said I was an intellectual once. It kind of surprised me. I, I was like, oh, I, didn't, I never thought of myself as one, right? Just kind of like a common man. But when it comes tradition, to tradition and tribes, think about it. The intellectuals versus the tribalists, right? So the populists. That's what Donald Trump is. He's that populist. And that's what you're going to get with Infowars and Prison Planet. It's the tribe, right? And Gary Johnson doesn't smell like what they like. Like, they don't like Gary Johnson just because he has that sort of intellectualism and that cosmopolitan attitude that they don't care for. Right? So, you know, you can disagree. And I said this earlier on my, on my uh, Facebook page, and I just want to hit this home because this is what is so important. You can disagree with Gary Johnson on certain issues. The carbon tax, for example. I don't even like the, the fair tax. Right? You can disagree. But the response to Gary Johnson not being libertarian enough for you isn't to support the statist Trump, okay? But I understand why Alex Jones and Infowars and Prison Planet identify with Donald Trump because he represents what they have been making a killing on, millions of dollars. If you ever see me, folks, selling or hear me selling something and trying to terrorize you and trying to scare you, you'll know that I've sold out. You know, it's, there's, not, there's a lot of money in giving people sweet lies. There is not a whole lot of money in giving people the objective truth because nobody likes the truth because the, the truth will set you free, but first it will piss you off. Nobody's going to watch something that pisses them off. Oh, Austin, you, uh, you, you offended me. I'm going to unfriend you on Facebook. Well, what the hell? You can't read or, or listen to an opinion that doesn't completely agree with you? So we got to march in lockstep. I don't completely agree with Gary Johnson on certain things, but you know what? I'm willing to hear him out, at least willing to listen to him. And when you compare Gary Johnson to Donald Trump, I'm sorry, but no, 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 no. Gary Johnson is a mild mannered pot smoking Republican from New Mexico. Okay. 
Gary Johnson would be leaving us the hell alone. He'd be off mountain climbing. You want to talk about, this is tribal politics, folks. You want to talk about tribal politics? You're not going to get a lot of stats, you know, st statistics and numbers and cited sources in the New York Times here. We're talking tribalism, right? Gary Johnson is much more of the libertarian than Donald Trump. Donald Trump kicked old ladies out of their houses so he could put car parks up to park his limousines and he used eminent domain to do that okay that is not libertarian okay the response to gary johnson's mild uh parting of ways with libertarian philosophy which he does and i call him out for which gets me no credit <laughs> but my fans people are already like me is not to go full-blown status with donald trump all right wants to limit immigration this is not libertarian okay the paleoconservatives have been waiting for a long time for somebody like Donald Trump, though, right? They supported Ron Paul. Why? Because they wanted somebody who was going to bring down the establishment. Now they don't care who brings down the establishment. They want to become the establishment. And so if Donald Trump becomes president of the United States, finally, Alex Jones will build a state. Is that what you want, America? Let me ask you something. If you stuck around through all this insider BS all, is this what you really want? You want the 9-11 cons conspiracy theorists, you want the nutcases who believe in magic bullets to build a government? Listen, folks, if you think that this is me trying to enable Hillary, like, shut off the stream now. You little social justice warrior pansy, just shut it off. Turn off. Don't listen to this. This isn't for you, okay? You weak, little, whiny, little, whatever you are, populist dweebs. I, I just, I cannot fathom how someone could sell our country so low and then turn around and say, oh, you're enabling Hillary Clinton. You are not the revolution, bro. You are not the revolution. Trump is not the revolution. And those of you who are out there who are trying to make it that way, you are sellouts, you are statists. And, uh, you know, I don't know what else to say. When I get mad, I just want to whip out some founding fathers on you. Crouch down and lick the chains upon you. Crouch down and lick the hand that feeds you. May your chains rest lightly upon you and may history forget that you are a countryman. Bad paraphrase there, but you know what I mean? I, I just, listen, people call me a sellout for supporting Gary Johnson. Like, I, you can't win, all right? So I'm just going to try and give you the, the breakdown. Do you want Alex Jones and his type building a government, right, behind Donald Trump? Listen, no matter what is, is going to happen, I'm probably screwed because Trump's going to go out and start a network. And because of all my criticism of him, he's going to come in and sit on me, right? And Alex Jones and those guys, they've got a media empire. Listen, the bad guys have got all the power. The good guys who are out there speaking the truth, we got no power, right? Social networks are against us. The mainstream media is against us. Now, the... <laughs> The, the, the populist establishment is rising, and it's, it's sort of like, what do you call them? The know-nothings have taken power, and they know nothing. You know nothing, Donald Trump. I don't know. Donald Trump is not Jon Snow. But you had to expect that these conspiracy theorists types, these nuts, were going to go for Donald Trump. It's not about Gary Johnson, again. They might support Gary Johnson if Trump wasn't in the race. It's that Trump is their man, right? They love the boot heel, right? They thrive on fear, terror, and lies. But that's not what I'm all about over here. And yeah, you're listening to me on a, uh, I'm not going to lie to you. You're listening to me on a Yeti microphone plugged into my MacBook Pro. And I'm live right now in my studio apartment in... Kansas City, you know, I don't have millions of dollars like these guys. So they're like, oh, yeah, you know, they can squat on me like a fly. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I've been around. I'm young, but I've seen a lot and I know a lot. And I'm going to bring you guys the truth for as long as you guys enable me to be here. If you're listening to this right now, you're part of the revolution, the real revolution, the true revolution, not the sellout to the status, not the social Democrats, not the paleo conservatives or the alt right, but the true libertarian revolution of people who believe in free minds, free markets, limited government, economic freedom, personal liberty. So what else? What's next? Does the revolution continue? You got to support the media that you want. If you like this media, you got to support this media. You got to turn off the info wars and you got to turn on the libertarianrepublic.com's podcast. This is the Freedom Report. If you like the show and you're a regular reader of the Libertarian Republic and you hate the ads, go to the libertarianrepublic.com, guys. It's five bucks a month. This 
goes to support libertarian journalism. And definitely we're going to need it because we've got a lot of big bad guys coming down the pike. No matter what happens with Trump, he's going on a war path. There's going to be, listen, there's already fingers pointing at the liberty movement saying, like, Gary Johnson lost. There's like, uh, they're all like, hey, Austin, uh, this is your fault, blah, blah, blah. Same thing's happening on the Republican side, by the way, because the, the Hillary tidal wave is coming. Okay? There's only one thing that you can do, and that is to simmer down. Build up your battlements, sandbag up, get ready for the next battle because we got some big ones coming down the pike, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I'm afraid that the friend, the true friends of liberty, are few and far between in this country. We are in dark times, ladies and gentlemen. And that is not me trying to sell you on a dark vision. That is just me telling you the truth. Friends of liberty are few and far between. One of them is a woman by the name of Lily Tang Williams. Do you know Lily Tang Williams in Colorado? She might get to debate. She's wonderful. She's a beautiful lady who is a libertarian, um, uh, former. She's an expat. She ran away from China. She's here in the United States. She's in Colorado. She's probably going to make the Senate debates now. This is a very big deal. Please support Lily, Lily for Liberty. Um, there are good freedom fighters out there. Gary Johnson is not perfect, but I'm supporting Gary Johnson because I think he is the best. And, um, you know, if you're out there, Gary, and you're listening, good luck. Um, even you and Bill Weld, I know you guys can get along great. But the revolution continues, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we've got a lot to go forward with. What, what's your role? You know, that's what I'm asking. I want to ask you now. What are, what are you doing to further this cause? Okay, because I can't sit here forever and do this without your help. We've got to all work together. All right, because the bad guys have got all the power and all the money. It's time for the good guys to pool our resources. Saul Alinsky says that a revolution without money must be a revolution of flesh and blood. we got to make this happen together. Check out the Stonegate Institute. That's my new institution to start fighting for liberty um, institutionally. Stonegate, G-A-I-T, stonegateinstitute.org. <clears throat> Check it out. Uh, we don't sell water filters. Uh, we, <laughs> we don't uh, fear monger, but we do fight for liberty. And we've already had a big victory, uh, blocked an anti-medical marijuana bill in Florida. Shout out to Zach Garrison. Well done there. Uh, we're going to keep fighting for liberty. And every time we get a victory, you're going to hear about it because that's why you're here, because you know that I'm the OG libertarian, freedom ninja, Austin Peterson. Thanks very much. Love you guys. Thank you for listening. Sorry if some of this stuff offends you, but, you know, you live. Have a good one, guys.